Uh, I suppose I'll leave this in a regular episode, but let's try to rush through this. Alex Sapien and use the emulator speed up feature. You can post the text if you want to read. He's the leader of uh, a group that promotes human laboring instead of riots. But, um, you know, I'm. I'm a bit left wing myself, but still, wouldn't it. shouldn't it be up to the people running the business to decide how they want to handle their labor? And of course, there's stuff like job, job security, so they won't just be fired at a moment's notice, but. Besides that, oh well, Jack Archer, blah 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 blah, wait a minute, he's a professor and of eco-sciences and Kit asked him about some kind of archaeological artifact, weird, okay, Biot's, um, well, doesn't say a whole, whole lot special about them, to check. Yeah, remember how I mentioned that the show prom promoted media awareness? Dr. Jack is that part. And also he's voiced in the cartoon by Mark Hamill. Three orbitals. And this would be the independent struggle perspective or aspect. Ghost Channel. Um, so it's an underground jungle. Small. Ah, craft. We saw him in the intro, and as I recall, he was actually fighting against Maximum blown up, blown up a bit, salvaged by Maximum Incorporated, or Ma the Maximum Corporation, and they were sufficiently impressed by his abilities that they started employing him. Guran. I think I have settled on a voice for him. We'll see how that holds up. Humans for humans. And I don't really understand how that sentence is supposed to work. Campaigning against Bayots who they fear will replace humans, roving terrorist gangs and for protection from all evil factions. So do they fear that the Bayots will replace roving terrorist gangs? And oh, are they campaigning against... Ah, oh, okay, now I think I can campaigning against Bayots, against terrorist gangs, and campaigning for protection. Okay, got it. Richard Jones, the guy who, the lab assistant we rescued from the university, and um, I'm not sure we'll be ever seeing him again during the course of this game. And this guy, uh, well, He's a mercenary. Madison Maxwell. Vice President. Yeah. He's, he's the Vice President and son of the President of the Maximum Incorporated. No nepotism going on there, no sir. He's a genius, he's also a brat. And likes to control stuff from a VR set. Remember how VR was hot back in the mid 90s? Oh, and Maxwell Madison Senior. Blum, 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 blum. And he died along with the 23rd Phantom. And Rebecca plans on resurrecting him. Pegam Madison, head of Maximum Incorporated. Blah, 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 
Um, so she has a beef to beef with the phantom. And I think I read somewhere that the medicine. The, well, the two medicines and graft are the only human workers at Maximum Incorporated, which sounds a bit weird. I mean, shouldn't you at least have people running research and development? Or, or is Maximum. In, wait, if maximum, it's called Maximum Incorporated. Does that mean it's in the stock exchange? And shouldn't it at least have a board of directors? Oh well. Resource Wars. Hmm. And looks like this will stretch out to be a, its an own video. Smuggling, terrorism, yeah. And they kinda look like a. Well. Crown Troopers. Metropia. Ah, Mega City. With no judge threat to keep order. Millions of inhabitants and millions of corporations. That's interesting. Trump University. Ah, eco science. And Mr. Cairo. So he is a bit of an ambiguous trader figure. Sean Wan, leader of the Free Orbitals. Grew up in zero gravity, or at least minimal gravity. Nine feet tall. High checking. Fancy that. Sparks. The mandatory kid character. He's a wonder kid. Yeah. Tracker. Hunter. Which, um. I'm not sure how much work he gets these days, since more and more in this world more and more of wild beasts are go going extinct. Triads. Three women, supernatural powers and <clears throat> when they are in close vicinity to each other, their powers grow tenfold. And Star of the show, Kit Walker. Yeah, the Phantom lineage is called Walker. Isn't it fortunate they all managed to, managed to have at least one male descendant? Actually, um. Wait, Mother died when he was very young. Hmm, there was some sort of mother character in the cartoon, but maybe it was his aunt or something. <coughs> oh yeah, unbroken fathers and lineage. <sighs> Still saying it's a miracle they managed to keep that up when you take a look at some of the real world royal families who've gone to great trouble to try and get a male heir. Oh yeah, and by the way, this mentions that the kit here is the 24th Phantom. Oh, while in while uh, the modern day Phantom has been uh, what was it, the 20th, or oh, might be up to 21st now. And hmm, I never noticed that little graphical glitch that happens when you swing up here. Right here for some reason. Oh well, 
has been gone for about 10 minutes, so actual gameplay next time.